Thank you. How many of you are new to the work today, have never done the work or experienced it? Oh, that's just, that is amazing. So, so um, the work is a way to identify and question the judgments that cause all the suffering in the world. Another way of saying that, all the suffering in your life. Ready? <laughs> so I invite you to, to close your eyes and recall a situation where you were angry with someone or you were very hurt. anxiety, maybe you were at work, maybe at home, maybe on a cell phone, maybe, maybe face to face with that person that hurt you or made you angry. So the, the work is meditation. Meditate on that moment in time. And when you have centered in that moment in time. Raise your hand, keep your eyes closed, raise your hand and then lower it. Good. So we're going to continue to meditate on that moment in time. Now begin to identify why you're angry with that person. I'll continue to use the word anger and you connect with the, your own emotion that you were experiencing in that situation. Why were you angry? Why were you angry at that person? Hurt? Upset? What did they say? What did they do? Why were you angry? Meditating on that situation, that moment in time. <laughs> when you have identified why you're upset, angry, whatever that emotion is for you in that situation, when you've identified why you're angry, with your eyes closed, raise your hand and then lower it. Wow. Good. Now, see if you can name the emotion. Maybe it's not anger, maybe it is, and you don't have to do it exactly. I just love that you get in touch with your emotions because it's very important that you experience where in your body and in your own way. Is it hot, is it cold, is it in your chest, is it in your stomach? Your shoulders, your neck. You just get in touch with that. Okay, so now I invite you to open your eyes, open your folders. Locate the Judge Your Neighbor worksheet. If you don't have one, raise your hands and we can bring them to you. If you don't have a folder, raise your hands. <clears throat> now, we just meditated on a moment in time, so you're prepared to fill in statement one, just simply. I was in the kitchen. I saw myself clearly with Paul. And it was about 35 years ago, but mind doesn't care. Boom. Meditating on just that moment in time. Okay, so I'm angry at Paul because he won't listen to me. I mean, that was a huge, complex moment. 
But why, you know, what was, what was it simply when I meditate on that? He wasn't listening to me. And the whole thing was about his health. He had had four heart attacks. And he was smoking. I caught him and he said, no, I wasn't. I could smell it. He said, I could watch him fanning it as I entered the room. But why was I really angry? He wasn't listening to me. I was going, you're going to die, da, 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 da. So get very still, close your eyes, look at statement one on the Judge Your Neighbor worksheet, and you're prepared to fill just that one in, only statement one, with what you saw as you meditated on that moment in time in your own situation. Any questions? Okay, now watch how your egos don't like it. Not me, I wasn't really angry. You know, as I, as, as I sit in that situation, yeah, I was angry. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with it now. <laughs> but I'm talking about then. I see it. How many of you see an image of how angry I was in that kitchen? Would you raise your hand? Okay. And <laughs> how many of you have ever, um, <clears throat> ever eaten a banana? <laughs> okay. So where's your proof? Where's your proof? Do you believe everything you think? You saw an image. That was in the past, right? It was an image of the past. That's the only way you could raise your hand. Okay, and Where's your proof that you've eaten a banana? You believe there's a past. Well, you couldn't raise your hand, honestly. What is the past? Can you take it out and do something with it? So it's not real, right? It's not real, right? So you're thinking about nothing. <laughs> and we spend our lives this way in the movie, in the movie, in the movie, and then the next time someone hands, they say, you want a banana? I think, when I say, oh yeah, I think I know what I'm talking about. But what is my reference? Nothing. Zero. Less. So, most people raise their hands. It looked like everyone did from here, but let's say everyone raised their hands. So we can all image. Anyone, anyone who thinks they're thinking can do this work. So you go back in a moment of time. How many of you, um, how many of you ate breakfast this morning? Where's your proof? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so if you raised your hand, those of you didn't saw images of you not eating breakfast. Or you would raise your hand if you heard the question and you thought you were being honest. Okay, so the reason I'm sharing this with you is so you can go back to that situation we started with and be comfortable in that situation. So you could, just like the banana, just like breakfast, you can meditate on, anchor in that situation.
And even talking to you right now, I can see, I can see Paul, he's, he's so upset, and I see this weird woman I called me coming at him, and I can see it. I couldn't see it then. I just saw him as a liar. When I think of him then, it's, I mean, when I think of him then, now, I feel so soft with it. Innocent man. Okay, so you have everything you need to fill in statement one. And again, the reason I shared so much in this last in these last few moments with you, it's so that you can go back and really see your situation clearly without guilt, without spiritual, what, arrogance. Just witness, mindfully meditating on that situation and fill in statement one. Why was I angry? Why was I so furious with Paul? I was believing my thoughts about Paul and about me. So it's, it just makes sense that I go back to that moment in time Meditate on that situation and collect the thoughts I was thinking then. Because that, those thoughts, that was the cause of my anger, not Paul. And I invite you to test that today. No human being has the power to make me angry. I do that. That's mine. I take full responsibility. What I'm thinking and believing about you is the cause of my anger. So I'm not, this is not a little thing we're doing here this afternoon. We're not just meditating on a moment in time where we're going to question the thoughts. We are, we're capturing something that was the cause of my anger that we're still believing today, putting on other people and world. So we collect them from them, we identify, we question them, and we see a very different world. A very different world. So let's have fun. Let's, let's continue to be in that situation. Fill in statement one. Short, simple sentence. How many of you have done that? Would you raise your hands? Good. So now close your eyes, back in that situation. So I'm going back into the kitchen. Go back into your situation. You're on your cell phone or you're texting or you're in the kitchen. <laughs> now identify in that situation with that person, what did you want? What did you want from that person? What did you want them to say or do? Meditate on that. Be in it. It's not your spiritual self now. It was you then, and no one angry is sane. What did you want? And when you identify that, fill in statement two. Read statement two and fill it in. Short, simple sentence. I want Paul to listen to me. Oh, yeah. I want Paul to stop smoking. Paul to tell the truth. Oh, 
We're identifying the cause of our anger in any given situation, and today it's the one that you are identifying on your, on your worksheet. How many of you need more time with statement two? Okay, so close your eyes. Being there now in that situation, to get what you want, what advice would you offer that person? He should, he shouldn't, they should, they shouldn't, she should, she shouldn't. In your situation, what advice would you offer that person to, in order to get what you want? So make sure the advice is clear, make sure it's possible. Like, I'm not going to say I want Paul to, Paul should turn cartwheels. You know, he, he just had his fourth heart attack. To get what I want, what advice would I offer him? He should, he shouldn't. And fill in statement three. This is one of my favorites. You feel that emotion. In me, it was anger. So feel what yours was. Now, what would it take you? What do you need to be happy? What could that person do, give you, be? In that moment in time, what do you need from them to go from that emotion you're feeling all the way to happy? Boom just like that. It was in your head. I need him. Okay. What do you need to be happy? What do you and fill in statement four. Some of you can be spontaneous with this. Some of you are meditators. You can get very still with it. But at whatever experience of mindfulness we have, we can do this. What were your thoughts about that person? Close your eyes. Then, what in that situation, what were your thoughts about that person? Paul is a liar. He doesn't tell the truth. Remember, when you're angry, you're not sane. So don't expect a lot of civility here. Don't be shocked at what your thoughts were. Just be fearless enough to, as you identify them, to put them on paper. Because those thoughts are still running in your life. You believed them then? You're still believing them. Fill in statement five. And then, 
begin to identify in that situation, what is it about that person or that situation you never wanted to experience again? And fill in statement six.